Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to this episode of Dealing with Difficulty. My brothers and sisters, one of the aspects of dealing with difficulty is the difficulty when it comes to connecting with Allah. We spoke about the verse, وَاسْتَعِينُوا بِالصَّبْرِ وَالصَّلَةِ Seek help through patience and prayer. But many people find it difficult connecting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is a reality we need to speak about. Are you finding it hard to connect with your maker? Number one, ponder over who you are. Ponder over where you came from. Think about when you were little, you were helpless, your parents helped you. But there was a time when your parents were equally little and their parents helped them. And there was a time when they were equally little and their parents who happened to be your grandparents helped them. And so on backwards, right? Until we got to the beginning of a species. It has to have been. Because the population of the globe is increasing. It means the further back we go, the more it would have been a decreased number until we got to one. That's evidence enough to show you it started somewhere. When someone says, no, it couldn't have started somewhere, it definitely did because the population of the world is increasing. People are worried about it. Some people, you know, it's crazy how they think. But for us right now, dealing with difficulty, connecting with my maker, connecting with my maker, I need to first go back and recognize that maker. I need to ask myself, you know what, before I was born, where was I? Well, a part of me was within my mother and a part of me was within my father. Then I happened to be a little embryo in the womb of my mother. And after that, I grew in the womb of my mother. The organs formed, everything happened, and I was born. I don't remember any of this. I don't remember any of this. So where was I? Was I not looked after in the womb of my mother by a supreme being, a deity? That's my Lord. The one who took care of me in the womb of my mother and ensured that I grew and multiplied, that the cells multiplied and the organs began to form and the heart began to pump and the blood came in and everything happened one after the other in such a perfect way. That's your maker, Allah. Amazing. So if I'm having difficulty connecting with him, I need to go back and remind myself I'm a human. I started from a droplet of semen. I was so insignificant, I was non-existent. هَلْ أَتَى عَلَى الْإِنسَانِ حِينٌ مِّنَ الدَّهْرِ لَمْ يَكُنْ شَيْئًا مَذْكُورًا Has a time not passed for man when he was nothing to be mentioned? Did that stage and phase not pass regarding you and I, that we were non-existent, not spoken about, not even mentioned, not worth mentioning. People would be considered mental if they mentioned us because it was impossible. We didn't exist. But Allah says, we know, we made you. We made you. Allah says, inna khalaqna al-insana min nutfa. We created man from a droplet of semen. Now, people might argue that, oh, well, Allah says, I created you from soil, from dust, and so on, from uh, a droplet of semen. So which one is it? And why does it seem like there's a contradiction? There's no contradiction. Those are different stages of creation of man. So sometimes Allah says, dust, soil that's mixed with dust, uh, a shape was made, man was created, and then the reproduction happened in a different way. And therefore, the droplet of semen comes into play. That droplet of semen, mixed with something, gave an embryo, and we grew. When we were born, as much as we can't even remember the day we were born, man starts arguing with revelation and starts saying, well, we're going nowhere and we just got to enjoy this life. And Allah says, hang on, you don't even remember where you came from. You don't even know exactly where you came from, but we told you where you came from. And others we allowed them to witness something that you cannot remember. They witnessed it and they told you about it. And we are going to tell you about something that you haven't witnessed because it hasn't yet happened, but we are going to tell you about it in a similar fashion. So what is that? I don't remember the day I was born, but I'm convinced because people told me about how I was born, when I was born. My date of birth is not remembered by me for its day because I didn't have the, the, the memory at that particular time. But the people memorized my date of birth and I found it out later and now I know my date of birth. 
not because I remember the day, but because I was told about the date. So the same applies on the other end of life where when I enter into the hereafter, whatever happened on earth is going to become irrelevant besides a few things. The main thing is your deeds. What good did you do? Did you do good? Well, if you did good, welcome, mashallah. You'll be happy to enter the new phase. You know, when we play computer games and many people waste their lives on games, married men and women and children waste their lives on games. They oppress and they really do not fulfill the rights of their spouses and children and those whom they live with because they are stuck with the games, but they don't ever learn the lesson from the game. One of the most powerful lessons you can learn from a game is you want to score the most before the game ends. So in my life, which is far more important than a game, shouldn't I want to score as many good deeds as I can before the end of my life? And will I not graduate to the next phase if I were playing a game of the game? Well, in my life, when I do good, I'm going to graduate to the next phase. How will I deal with difficulty if I'm a person who really doesn't even bother where I came from and where I'm going? So to be helped in your difficulty connecting with Allah, you must make sure that you think of where you came from and where you're heading and the opportunity that you have that is limited in this world. Another point, think about what you're going to take with you and what you brought with you. What did you bring with you from wherever you came from? Nothing. What are you going to go with? What have people gone with? Nothing. Besides their deeds. Again, do good deeds. It should help you in your connection with Allah. It should help you dealing with this crazy type of difficulty. People don't acknowledge it's a difficulty. Some people who don't believe don't even want to connect with their maker. That itself is a hardship. It's a difficulty. We are here to encourage you to say, consider your maker. Consider that you are actually very limited in your capacity. I give you another example. To be able to connect with your maker, you need to consider the creation of the same maker. What else did he make besides you? لَخَلْقُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ أَكْبَرُ مِنْ خَلْقِ النَّاسِ وَلَكِنَّ أَكْثَرَ النَّاسِ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ Allah says, the creation of the skies and the earth is bigger than the creation of man. But man, many of mankind do not know. Allah Almighty also tells us, ponder over the creation of the day and the night, the rotation of the day and the night, the creation of the skies and the earth and so on. Ponder over these things. Why? Because it is definitely, for those who have intellect, these are signs that will help you connect with Allah. So when I think of the earth, think of how tiny it looks from space. And yet as you zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, you find so many people, each one thinks he's a big deal. And each one thinks that he is powerful. And each one has his own phone and his own money and his own this and yet he came with nothing and he's going with nothing. Allah shows you it's not just you who's insignificant, it's you and the entire globe is insignificant. The earth that you're on is so minute and tiny as compared with the rest of the planets we've made and whatever else we've made. Allah Almighty tells us, man, don't you think about it? Are you not going to think of how the day and night rotate? Are you going, not going to think about how perfectly everything happens? Do you really reckon that it just happened and there is no maker? There is. There definitely is a maker. And I'm going to put my head on the ground for him and him alone. Whoever made me, I owe him worship. Whoever I'm going to return to, I owe him worship. I will put my head on the ground only and solely for him. I hope that these few words would help you to navigate through the difficulty of connecting with your maker. Recognize him. Ponder over who you are, where you came from, where you're going. Ponder over the creation of the Almighty. What you came with, what you went with, or what people go with. Nothing besides their deeds. Do good deeds and Allah will open your doors. أقول قولي هذا وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد. Thank you.